what's going on everybody welcome back to another video today's video is about a subscription box that i just ordered it's called bait box monthly uh it's pretty cool it's not that expensive uh these the customer service was awesome they customized this your box to you yourself they ask they ask you a couple questions what do you prefer what colors what what uh, water column you prefer um, what type of water clear dirty muddy water um, I'm not sponsored by this company they did not pay for this I bought this out of my own uh, pocket so I uh, hope you guys like this video let's uh, go over these lures and start this video all right so I already opened this package I have a cool little uh, note saying thank you all right so we have a couple worms Riverwise Fishing Company. Uh, these are custom custom worms. Probably put that on a shaky head or even a texture rig. Top water, got buzz bait. Probably put that on first. Got another more custom lures by Rip Lip Plastics. That's pretty cool. Uh, it's a little grayish with some red flakes on it. Got some stickers. Got a spinner bait. Uh, it's pretty cool. It looks If I'm not mistaken, this is like a, it doesn't look like it's plastic um, skirt. It looks like a more leathery skirt. Um, huh, that's cool. Check that out. Got a crankbait. All right. This is by Nightmare Custom Lures. That's cool. All right. Got a jerkbait. All right. Bazooka Outdoors. No rattles. It's all right. And... Some vile bug craws. Oh man, this, this, I know for a fact this is gonna catch some bass. I use these all the time. I have a half drawer full of vile bugs and from, a lot of plastics from Biospawn, so that's gonna be awesome. All right, guys, I'm all rigged up. Got the worm on the shaky head on the spinning rod, got the buzz bait on the Mach 2, got the spinner bait on the 13 fishing reel, and got the crawl on the x speed stick combo so let's get out there put on the chesty and catch the fish all right gonna start off with the buzz bait not sure i choose color so if you guys don't remember from my first video second video i believe this pond was super clear and it was lower than normal. So I was walking around this pond before I started this video and I noticed that they digged a little bit around this whole pond. So where the bank was before was right where these little branches are right here. So let's hope that I didn't mess up the bass and <clears throat> mess up the, the spawning pattern. So. All I'm doing with this buzz bed is just straight retrieve. Nothing fancy, it's just, the water is still a little uh, cold, but it warmed up a little bit. So that's gonna give us a good advantage because there's gonna be some uh, bass more roaming, some bass roaming around a little more than usual. Uh, during the summertime, I would be zooming this buzz bay across the top, but since the water is a little colder and not as warm, I'm just slowly uh, reeling it from the top. So if you already don't, if you don't know what I'm I'm doing right now, I'm all I'm doing right now is fan casting, since I don't know exactly where the bass are. This is a good technique to to start off if you're fishing a new pond. I'll always do is fan cast. What that means is you're casting from your three o'clock to your nine o'clock or nine o'clock to your three o'clock um, in a fan manner. So visual, so I'll start over here or right here and then just cast, 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 and then move along down another 50 feet and then do the same thing over again, cast, 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 until you find you find those bass. That? 
Well, there goes my buzz bait. So I'm gonna tie it on, right? Well, since I broke off the buzz bait, I switched up to the jerk bait that jerk bait that it came in. This guy does not float. supposed to float all right I switched it up to the spinner bait the small profile so hopefully we catch them all right I see it in the water spins pretty good not too bad not too bad you know, if you're catching me a bass then I'll be even better Let's go. Let's go. Oh, this guy's dark. Oh, no, my finger. Let's go. All right, guys. Cut the chaos crawl done. Switch over to the uh, spinner bait. The awesome thing about spinner baits. That you really don't have to do any twitching or anything just retrieve the blades would do all the work for you you can also customize it and put a trailer on it like a like a swim bait Oh, let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> let's freaking go. Let's go. Look at his toad. Oh. Bam. There you go. There you go, ladies and gents. Look at that. Look at that beauty. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Let's get a weight on her. And we'll put her back. All right, let's put her back. Another three pounder. Let's go. Wrong way. That way. Go, go. There she goes. All right, y'all. This is the day two of the bait box monthly. I had a, I was on a little time crunch yesterday, so let's uh, hope today is a good day. Catch some more fish. So today I'm gonna start off with a little truck worm that came in the box. There's something over here. Something over here. Oh, let's go. No, no. Did you guys see that? No, mother of holy shenanigans. There's a lot of weeds down there, a lot of grass. So it's playing with my head, playing with my motions. Well, the blade fell off, so. That's that. Overall, I would rate this, this little spinner bait you know, five out of ten. But yeah, well, guys, no luck on the lipless crankbait. So let's see if we catch some more on this on this craw. Alright, 
Try on a different side of the pond. The skater's here. It's okay. Let's go. Let's go. Oh my God. He's huge. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> Let's go. Look at that. He's huge. Oh, Mr. Gay's coming over here. Oh. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. We get a weight on this lady. Three pounds, 332. All right, big girl. There she goes. Let's go, let's go. Oh my god. Dude, that thing went flying towards me. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that was funny. Let's go. Little guy. There you go. Let's go. I just, oh God. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. Let's go, bucket. Bucket. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Holy sh shenanigans. Let's go. Does he even fit? <laughs> oh my God. Let me get out of here before the gator comes. Let's go. Let's go. On the vile bug. Look at that. These massive. Dude. Let's go. Oh my goodness. Oh, look at his belly. Oh my goodness. All right, let's take pictures. And uh, look at this thing. Massive. Bucket. All right, guys, that's going to be it for today's video. Hope you guys enjoyed today's uh, little bait box slam. Uh, I didn't complete the whole thing, but it was uh, it was still fun. I uh, caught some, caught some a uh, good, caught some good bass on the vile bug. Caught some good uh, bass on the ripped plastics, chaos craw. The buzz bait, however, it did break off, and I didn't catch anything on that. So that's that. The jerk bait that came in. Uh, didn't quite figure it out. It was too heavy to jerk it. It was too, it didn't swim right. So uh, I couldn't figure that one out. But did catch a bunch on the trick worm, river wise. Um, I think that was all the, I think that was it. oh, the spinner bait. Spinner bait as well. Uh, kept throwing, 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 didn't catch anything. The Colorado blade uh, broke off. So that was that. Um, but if you guys enjoyed this video, hope you guys did. Leave a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe. Also, if you're not following me already, follow me on Instagram. I'll leave everything down below. Uh, like I said, hope you guys had fun. I'm going to keep fishing with some more vile bugs, some more trick rooms in this box. If you guys are interested in checking this, this monthly subscription box, I'll leave a link down below as well. So let's get back to fishing. Um, throw a couple of video uh, clips of those. I'll see you guys next time.